Hey, I'm Matt Silva, the makeup effects artist you're looking at. I'm applying a prosthetic makeup that I made for my face-off audition. The prosthetics that you're looking at are, um, I think, let me count them real quick in my head. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces that I'll be applying. Um, they're made out of an encapsulated deadened silicone. Um, they, uh, I did the sculpture over a process of about 24 hours, um, split up over the course of uh, several days, and um, they were sculpted in monster clay. Um, I did a pre-sculpt about a week prior in wed clay just to kind of play with the shapes and forms. It was a five-hour speed sculpt. Um, but uh, once the sculpture, the monster clay sculpture was done, uh, went ahead and floated the pieces and tore it apart. Oh, you know what? Including the center face, there's nine. Nine pieces. Um, I'm using a uh, telesis here to apply everything. It was, uh, it was definitely tough. Um, I've done a few applications on myself before, including one of the portfolio pictures I submitted, which was um, uh, a race change. I, I changed myself into an old black man. Um, but uh, this was significantly harder uh, just because of the weight of the silicone. Um, normally I would gaff quat my hair down, um, or I'd gaff quat hair down and then um, make sure that the bald cap was tightened. But since I was self-applying, it was really, really hard to try to get a tight seal on the back. Um, I had them cut my shirt just so that I could uh, do the pieces without removing or messing up the makeup. Um, but yeah, so uh, I, I knew going in I was going to have a hard time keeping that bald cap uh, tight enough. So I, I actually used a clip to try to take some attention off. But as you can see, there's a little bit of splitting. Um, but uh, if I had been able to gaff quad, it would have taken care of that. Um, all in all, the weight of the prosthetics wasn't too encumbering. Um, I thought, it, you know, I was a little worried working with that much weight on my face might be a, a pain in the buns. Um, but it actually wasn't too, too bad. Um, I think... Uh, I think again the worst part was uh, all the the lights and then having the silicone on some more of heat than anything else. So I'm uh, going through and trying to tack down on my edges um, using Telesis Five and uh, burning away the edges. The um, the encapsulant on these prosthetics are a uh, a vinyl encapsulant um, like Super Baldies. Uh, and um, taking a look here, uh, the entire um, prosthetics were pre-painted about um, an hour before I applied. Um, I figured you didn't want to see me for four hours. You even sped up, it would have been insane. The uh, the total application time for this makeup was one hour and a half, and I, I took my time. I didn't I didn't rush too much. Um, I, uh, I mean, I definitely could have spent more time um, burning away the edges in the back and <clears throat> tightening everything down, but for speed's sake, I try to keep it quick for you guys. Um, the base color for the prosthetics were purple, uh, sort of a pink-purple color, and then they were uh, layer-painted using um, a Pache Simple H with a uh, the tips uh, mix matched three and a five um, to do spatter effect on low PSI airbrushing. Um, I started off with uh, with some real colors, a uh, purple and um, I think a uh, blood red. Um, spatter painted and then went through and just started changing up colors and highlighting, shadowing, adding in more stuff. I actually would really like to um, to redo this makeup uh, later on another person. And, uh, and play with the colors and pop out some more area and make them a little more interesting. Um, I, I do I do like the simplicity because there's so much texture in the sculpt that uh, I think the simple a more simple paint job was complimentary. But uh, but I think this was in hindsight just a little too a little too subtle a little too simple. Um, I'd like to play with it and really see what I can get out of it. Um, another thing the uh, there's some scales on the lower portion, or like around the collarbone and also the top of the head um, surrounding the T-zone. And um, when I was taking a look at paint jobs, I I, uh, I 
because they were scalish, I instantly went for, you know, the typical amphibian or, or uh, lizard type skin textures and colors, but I uh, just did not like it. So in the final, in the final paint job, I actually took some influence from the Urukai from uh, Lord of the Rings and went for more of a, a unnatural, dark kind of color and I, I wanted to keep it less reptilian and just more creature alien like I had actually bought some skin illustrator silver to possibly kind of tie in the influence for this makeup was sort of an HP Lovecraft meets HR Geiger um, and, and Geiger does a lot of intrinsic um, you know metallics underneath you know layers and layers of dark colors um, that I really like but um, I felt uh, I felt like it might have been a little too much this time around, so maybe maybe next time I'll play with it. Uh, I got some really nice advice the day before. I, I was on a commercial with um, Jill Harlow, and I had uh, brought one of the uh, trash pull pieces to play with and just color while I was on set. And um, Jill told me that the color I had chosen, the purple, was a difficult color to paint. So he gave me some nice tips on trying to make it sell. Um, and I'm, really thankful for that the uh, the mask there is also silicone with encapsulant but there's no deadener it's completely firm um, uh, the encapsulant just really helps with painting uh, I do uh, just regular silicone painting um, without any encapsulant or anything I just uh, for time I, I just went ahead and encapsulated it Again, lots of little details that uh, if I just, if I wanted to make it more of a portfolio piece and take a lot more time, I, I could have done a, a lot a lot more interesting things with the colors. But all in all, I'm pretty happy uh, with what it turned out to be. Uh, there's always room for improvement. Um, but for an hour and a half, I'm, I'm not, uh, not upset. Like I said, I definitely would have taken uh, more time to check the back of the, the head and... Um, try to get a second mirror in there to be able to see those angles and, and make sure that all those side edges were blended away. I think uh, not bad for a test run. Oh, hey. Not bad for a test run. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, hopefully if you guys have me on the show, I'll be able to show you what I can do uh, with uh, these kind of makeups, I'm developing a way of trying to make uh, flat mold encapsulated silicone prosthetics in in a matter of 20 hours. So that's it. My name is Matt Silva, and hopefully I will see you in L.A.